What's good, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters, Ryan Towers, Ryan, Noldaru, Shoko, Paid Bill, and Nick Sanchez. Thank you all so much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link below in the description to find out more. Thanks again. Oh my lord, what do we have here? It is a John Tron episode that we are going to be reacting to. It is the weird world of PSAs. Public service announcements, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when those times on TV where your favorite shows would be interrupted by a public figure, you know, the president, Michael Jordan, G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. And That's shit like what that is? <laughs> yes. PSAs. I thought it was peanuts, <clears throat> sandwiches, and eye holes. Stuff you eat. Yeah. PSA. <laughs> God dang it, Chad. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Well, actually, my, bad. my favorite public service announcement parody stuff was actually off like Eminem and D12 stuff. Oh, yeah. It's like, okay, this is another public service announcement brought to you in part by the... Oh, shut up, punk. Yo. This thing on? Good, good. Hell yeah. Skits and for... albums are like yeah. something that they <clears throat> just... It's a lost art. Man. Yeah, it's like... Just want to let y'all know, we're going to say some offensive shit on this. But that don't mean we mean any of this shit. We just say this kind of shit just to fuck with you. What? I told you to time down. Now he's running. <laughs> fuck it. Pow. Shoots yeah. him and kills him. Like, God dang it. He just stayed still. Know what happened to you. Now, look. It just goes to show. When you fuck around with us, shit can happen. Bitch. I miss it. I do too. And then that was the lead into D12. Shit can happen. Yeah. Shit can happen. The blowjob scene between Violent J and... Uh... <laughs> What's his name? The Insane Clown Posse? Yeah, Shaggy and it. Uh, Shaggy, Shaggy too dope. Shaggy too dope and Violent J. Yeah. yeah. He got them bad with that one. Well, Eminem was a savage well, with dude, that they, stuff. Well, they were trying to throw up shade. They were trying to sh throw shade yeah. against, uh, against Shady, man. I mean, it, how can you throw shade against Shady? In a PSA. No, nope, yeah. that's what he does to you. <laughs> Who's John Tron going to be throwing PSA shade? I don't know, man. But apparently, he's going into the weird world of PSAs. I, I remember... There was one that Doug Walker brought up a long time ago. It was Pee Wee Herman talking about crack cocaine. I kid you not. I kid you fucking I'm not. I'm sure we're going to see some interesting ones in this. I don't no doubt, doubt it either, man. I mean, those workout videos were just, they blew my mind. Regis and OJ, OJ were Sims. not the two names that come to mind. <clears throat> not at all. But anyway, uh, let's get to it. Let's, no dilly dallying. Let's just dive right into the world of Jan Tran. Uh, the world of PSAs. Here we go. Drugs. What's Drugs. wrong with them? I want them. But hold on. Let's, <laughs> let's go back to the 80s and 90s when everyone fucking ever was telling me not to do them. Because then maybe I'll change my mind. After all, we know how impartial <laughs> these advertisements were. Marijuana, pot, grass, whatever you want to call it, is probably the most dangerous drug in the United States and we haven't begun to find out all of the ill effects. <sighs> these are... Look... As much as as much as I as much as I've uh, some stuff that Reagan did that I liked, yeah, he was a hundred percent wrong on that. Yep. <clears throat> Let's not forget this is also the Ronald Reagan who made the deal with the Iran Contras, also made the deal with uh, with uh, Colombia, and made Pablo Escobar the most powerful drug dealer in the world at one point. I mean, yeah, I don't <coughs> look. Put that in your pop and smoke it. Reagan? Oh, yeah, you can't. You're dead. Yeah, he died in, like, what, 04? He dead. Oh, he dead. It's just so funny. And I was just looking at some of them, and some of them are so ridiculous that I just got to give it a whirl. Let's go. Let's see. What's, what's number one on the list here? Oh, no. I get angry just thinking about it makes me mad. <laughs> Little kids doing drugs, it turns my stomach. <laughs> Are you bleeding? You all right? <laughs> Band-aid for you? Holy shit. It hurts the user. It hurts his family. Okay, I'm good. And it hurts his back friends. Up. We're good, man. I just want to shake some sense into you. Go. Shake some sense into you, kids. I'm not a kid. I'm 26. <laughs> remember, don't. Or else. Okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a creepy way to end this smile. I was going up to the smile. If you're going to hurt me, hurt me. Don't have me thinking about this 10 years later in the therapist's office. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Life is more important than material things. You don't need all the gold and the diamond rings. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. Freeze. Straight up. Straight up. Freeze. Straight up. 
Oh, this is oh, the egg. One. The egg. Is this Rachel? Yeah, this Rachel Lee Cook. No, it's not. And this is heroin. No, it's not. It's an egg in a pan. This is what happens to your brain. No, that's what happens when you smash a, a egg with a pan. But your family goes through. Oh, not the dishes. The clock. The clock. How are we gonna know what time it is? You didn't have to do any. Any of that. questions? You chose to do that. I actually, I'd have had a bit there after she says any questions. I'd have been like, yeah, what the fuck are you on? Yeah, you do need drugs. You dude. do need drugs if you ain't on something. You <laughs> need drugs. The therapist is not quite bitch. locked down or pill combo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chris uh, Porter would say. Exactly. They, Reagan needs to get her some of that probably the worst drug ever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> drugs can get you in big trouble. Mm. You could go to principal's office or go to jail. I remember saying this one. I yeah, do too. too. Can't watch TV or eat pizza. I'm what? Out. No pizza. Can't yeah. watch TV. Can't eat pizza. Go to jail. Can't eat pizza. Won't do them. Recess is good. Hamsters are good. Hamsters are good. Hamsters are what? good. How does this? Penny, you're getting off it's track. It's not a hamster. Drugs are bad. It's a fox. I don't do drugs. Creeper. <laughs> Who's more dead? Who's more dead inside? That's the game I play. It's me. This kid died from using illegal drugs. Are you allowed to be in here? This kid died from using prescription drugs. Who's more dead? He's gonna ask who's more dead? Which one's more dead? This is the deadest <laughs> I ever seen. Oh, John! From a bullet. This guy he fell down the stairs. Which one of them is deader? You better answer this. That better. That's not a rhetorical question. That's not a rhetorical question. You have to answer that question when you go into that kind of territory. Oh, man. <laughs> you just oh. say that like Did a goat? My man? Huh? You just say that like a goat? I'm mad. I'm mad. Yeah, I think so. Man, you know them all. There's crawling on the ground, oh, man. Looking through binoculars, oh, man. Sergeant, we're smoking a cigarette, man. He's gone. Last night, <laughs> Billy burned him with a match. A message from Rat. Reject all tobacco. Take it from Terrence. You better tell somebody. I what? wasn't sold till the rat. I wasn't sold till then. <laughs> when that came on, boy, gosh darn it, I want to throw out all my marijuana leaves in the big old trash can. Hey, what about me? Give her some. Yeah, give me some. All right, all right. You Jeez. want meth, kid? Here's your meth. And here's your meth dealer. And your meth boyfriends. And here's your meth mom. And your meth dad. And your meth CPA. And your meth boyfriends. <laughs> meth boyfriend, please take a step back. Okay, understand the personal bubble. And your meth baby. <laughs> baby? I'll never get over meth baby. As long as I live, I'll never unsee meth baby. <laughs> Oh no! This this this, this got to come to an end soon. Um, don't forget your meth face. I like how the meth face is more important than the meth baby. Yeah. Just want to point that out. Priorities a little messed up here, but then again, they are on meth. It's called smoking dog. It can't be bad. I'm a dog. This dog is cool as ice. Yes, he is. Then at dinner. I'm smoking. That's how the dog talks. He talks like a person, just like he smokes like a person. What is going on in this? I'm a dog. <laughs> like she just Smoke. came up. She's just like defeated. He's gonna be out there smoking. He wants to kill himself. Fine, you be out there, but you stay out there, dog. Hey, I'm a dog. What's your excuse? Not all dogs. Excuse me. Hashtag not all dogs. Thanks. Some dogs these days think they can put us all into a box. Ah. I'm Michael Jordan. Hi, Michael Jordan. McDonald's restaurants have given me this time to talk. Why did it have to be McDonald's who gave you this opportunity? It was just a camera and a background and you're in a suit. McDonald's restaurants have given me this time to talk to you about something we both really care about. Kids. Kids and McDonald's boys, girls, the education, children, McDonald's, Chicken McNuggets. You can just about be anything you want to be. I don't. Listen. I, lo I love the cut. What? I don't believe you, McDonald's. 
Like, yeah, I don't either. Or you, Michael you care Jordan. about kids yeah. coming? How dare you, you make me doubt Michael Jordan, you bastard? You no, care about Michael kids begging their parents uh, to come eat your right? filthy? Huh? Great baller. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. They, Go ahead. They don't care about kids. This is what, no. basically what I was trying to say. Stop it. Get some help. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I love how I couldn't. This is just. I love this is basically rambling. Listen. I was already listening, Michael. I was already <laughs> with you. But don't blow it. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get, Get some, some help. help. And definitely eat biggest Big Mac, large size, biggest <laughs> one. Get a small fries with it. No harm. Just a small fries. McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance, and so do I. <laughs> Is it really called ghoul? Yeah. Okay, this one's just called ghoul. They come to my place. Ghoul. For a little. Ghoul. You're like my friends. They're good listeners. Are they ghouls? Bill here is 16. Was. Unless he's alive in there, just sleeping. One of those little Japanese sleep hotels. <laughs> Ghoul. Try crack. Ghoul. <laughs> what was ghoul about that? Nothing about that was ghoul. Weird guy. It's called weird guy. I don't know about ghoul. I didn't see a single... Oh, there's still a second left of this. Let me check for ghoul. No ghoul. <laughs> no ghoul. Nope. This one is false advertising. I wanted to be scared by a fucking ghoul. Hey, you ever thought about taking drugs? Oh, I never really thought about it. I don't think any of you guys need any more drugs. Looks like you've done all the drugs needed. Things are. But you find me when you need more. Come on, kids. Don't you want to bite on one of these babies? <laughs> no, this trip's not worth the time. What the fuck? Can we go back for a second? Whoa. What exactly is the moral here? Don't buy drugs from secret monster men? A good point advertisement. Herpagon of Syphilite, I'll keep Oz. Herpagon of Syphilite. I haven't heard that in a long fucking yeah. time. Herpagon of Syphilite, Oz. Terrifying Oz. Once yeah, again, very. folks, I'm out. What? I'm on this one. I can't go farther than that. I got one eighth of a monkey turn, that's it. That's all I can handle. Now, Scott, I understand you just bought 15 of our surfing monkey bags. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Is this true? I feel like this, yeah. this makes me want to smoke marijuana. How, what's the? What did he buy? Fifteen? He bought fifteen. Okay, let's let's calculate that out. Let's get out the calculator really quick. Three hundred sixty-three dollars. I mean, what's that? Three tickets to Disneyland? You get that much fun out of a of a monkey surfboard piggy bank? God bless you. God bless you. Drugs, drugs, drugs. <laughs> I didn't call myself a farter. Well, that's probably a good thing. I don't feel like go around doing that, calling yourself that. In my head, I was a social farter. <laughs> what? I only farted occasionally. Get it, I'm getting uncomfortable. Can you turn this one on? And my boyfriend called me out on it. And good on him. He's yes. taking it right where it matters. I even woke up in the morning craving a fart. Nice one, guys. Sick allegory. You slipped it right in. Wow. I can't believe how smart you were for writing that. Just changed farting to smoking, and it's done. Tobacco companies lost all their shares. You did it. You've done it. Sick, dude. Getting fat rips. <laughs> not again. He's smoking. <laughs> not again. And aliens coming while my boyfriend's smoking weed. Not again. Aliens coming up to me again. Got a weird potato face. Always happens. Just trying to have a good day. Whoa, shit, dude. That alien just stole that. Dang, Mr. Steal Your Girl. That is stupid alien. An alien. Not again. <laughs> and she's gone. Don't let aliens steal your girlfriend from smoking weed, kids. Kick his ass. Wow, real great, man. Real sick. Nice weed. Wow. What are you doing? Smoking this grass. Smoking this harsh grass. What is your disgrace? I just got here. I don't even know anything. What, are you, what even is weed? Come on. Get with me, girl. This guy's a loser. <laughs> see, see ya, dude. You suck. See ya. You seriously suck, dude. <laughs> What's in this? <laughs> yes. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. I honestly.
honestly don't know, man. <laughs> that was the perfect reaction. <laughs> just, yeah. It's just, what the fuck am I smoking? <laughs> I'm Captain Lou Elmano. Awesome. Wasn't expecting that. Anyone that asks you to use drugs is not your friend. Drugs can and will kill. But Mario, you's always eating the mushrooms. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Remember, don't be afraid to turn to your priest, your rabbi, your minister, your moms, your dads, your teachers, because drugs can kill. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Mario, you're scared Wait, what? for life here. You just that you go to hell before you die. Heavy, you go to hell before you die. That's like slap boxing with somebody. They're just getting you and they go, motherfucker. Wham! Just full hand. You go to hell right before to you jump. die. Then you die. And then guess what happens after that? Probably hell again. No, he said Damn, you Albano. go to hell before you die. Oh, I know. Like, And then you what? like finally die and then you go back to hell again probably. So you get yeah. two times the hell. Yeah. It's like, I've heard of being knocked into next week, but knocked into going to hell, coming back to the dead, the realm of the dead, and death saying, did you enjoy the trip? No. Good. <laughs> Just sending you right back down. Lou Albano. Yeah. Ooh. Tell me Jesus. I'm going to go to actual hell before I die. I just want to jump on the Goombas, Mario. I just want to ride the Yoshi. I guess he was really affected by Luigi's fatal drug addiction. Mario, it's me, Luigi. Well, I just can't stop eating the mushrooms. Um... It's just a funny show. I'm such a very funny, funny fucking guy. <laughs> Go to hell. Go to hell. <laughs> Pablo, the, is this the real name? Pablo the Mule Dog. No. Don't, Don't you dare. Pablo. What? Turns out I've been used to smuggle cocaine <laughs> into the country. Don't make a drug PSA about this. No. This this doesn't make me want to not do drugs. This makes me sad for Pablo. What yeah. a bunch of Mexicans shoved cocaine into. That's what's making me want. Which does rather prompt the question, what's the big deal? You should be dead, ghoul dog. Stay dead! I went to this nasty toilet and this girl asked me... Did you spare a satana? Uh, no, I'm, I'm a dog. And I can't afraid they know how to talk. And look who we have here. A bleeding nostril. Perfect. I'm bleeding! Well done. Yes, you are. So I picked up the phone, somehow, and talked to Frank. There's a darker side to Coke. To find out more, visit talktofrank.com. I'm there with John Tron on that one. Are we sure this video I, doesn't make us feel like I'm we're John. on drugs? Yeah. yeah. After watching Pablo the Mule Dog be stuck. Is this video not already drugs? This is drug video. Is, is it one video? I don't... I can't feel my pulse. Am I dead? Make the drugs continue. Uh, Any more drugs, Nate? Eh? Handfuls of cocaine. <laughs> I've come here, me and McDonald's have come here to tell you what we know to truly be important. The family. The Big Mac. The Mac Nuggets. Come on down. Grab just a four-pack, four-piece Mac Nuggets from, from God's green soil itself. Grown from our, straight from McDonald Farms. One ninety-nine only. Two-piece chicken Mac Nuggets. One for to get for free. Listen. If you're doing drugs, stop it. Or else Mr. T's gonna come shake all that loose change right out of your pockets. How are you gonna get a six piece chicken McNugget stand? Reopen that 9 11 investigation. What really happened there? You just gotta know the facts. Just, re just reopen it. Take a look. Never know what's gonna be inside. That's me, John. See you later. The time is now for strong leadership. Reagan for president. And this episode was sponsored by Loot Crate. If you don't know what wow. they are, they're a monthly subscription box service for Damn. pop culture gear that, and game That rent. was pretty for savage, man. For less than $20 man. a month, you get six to eight items that include licensed gear, apparel, collectibles, unique that was kind pretty items, savage. and more. You, you kidding, have until the 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific to subscribe and receive that month's crate. And when the cutoff happens, that's it. It's over. Sign up at my specialized link. Like I'm watching this commercial just Jontron trying to regenerate my brain. Wait for it. Jontron and save 10% on any new subscription. December's theme is revolution. You can get such wonderful items as Overwatch Reaper guy, Titanfall shirt, glove uh, of stuff, band-aid for when I break my heart again. <laughs> Works perfect. <laughs> this is your brain. This is your brain after watching a bunch of weird drug PSA videos. Dude, he did the best drug dance ever. When he was like doing the whole, like shooting himself up. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah he that did, was the best he drug did, dance he did, move he ever. Did, he did the, he did the, yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, that's in the zone. Yeah, it is. Hey, he get he getting lit, man. He's getting lit as fuck. Dabbing, getting faded. look out. Shooting up is the new dab. Yeah. See, because, you know, people do, like, the speed dabs and all that. Let me do the speed shoes. A lot of people do it, and they don't realize what that is. Like, what it signifies. What? Dabbing. Isn't just a dance move. It came out of, like, weed culture. Yeah. Because people would hit the J and then cough into their shoulder and pass it off while they were... Well, it'd be to the left. Oh. Right, so it's... <coughs> And so when I see all these 10-year-olds, it's like, don't try to hotbox with God. <laughs> you little motherfuckers don't even smoke. I will fucking bury your little ass with one hit. <laughs> Fuck you. Fair enough. Don't dab. You don't dab. No. They don't dab. No. Nope. They don't know what a dab is. It's not about building a stupid video game shack and shooting your friends off llamas. It's about getting ripped. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it, yeah. It's like, oh my god, Fortnite, that's where the dab came from, you no. ignorant little motherfucker. <laughs> it came from the back of my friend's eclipse after third period, skipping class. <gasps> you see all like from. these news articles, it's like, uh, basically, it's like Pokemon may actually be linked to Richcraft and like shit like that. Yeah. You know? Like, uh, oh, here's another one for you from the 90s <clears throat> Satanic Panic. Yeah, here's oh, yeah. another one for you. You know what this means? The white power You're about symbol. To get punched. Yeah. Exactly. That means. Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's not like, uh, oh, I don't know. Let's let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. And yet, I never saw a news article like telling parents is like, yeah, uh, this dab that all your stupid kids are doing is uh, actually related to drugs. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, I know. And I'm just like. You, you can't, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. LeBron James. LeBron James. You know, he's he's all about it. Yeah, look at that. Look look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Doing yeah. Double, look at that white power, man. Yeah, yeah. That is true. That is true white power Well, I mean, right it there. just goes in to, like, prove, along with the premise of this video of drug PSAs, how fucking stupid people really are. They are. They, they are, are stupid. All these people buying into this nonsense that they're just spewing out there when years down the road, people are just going to be like, this was fucking stupid. It's going to come to a point where, you know, it was even in the 70s and 80s and shit, people realize that there are people angry about what you're doing. We live in America. You can do whatever you want to, suffer the social consequences of that, but nobody can't really actually stop you. They're going to have an opinion of it. Who yeah. cares? Exactly. Who cares? Exactly. That's my thing, too. I, obviously, I don't. No, I know you don't. <laughs> well, I don't care either, man. I mean, dude, if people want to like go in the middle of the forest, cover themselves in peanut butter, and let deer lick it off of them, go right the fuck ahead. People need to be able to do all the drugs they want to. That's my opinion. It's when you infringe on other people, and you're like lacing stuff, and like people licking stuff, and... In stores and stuff, it's also a thing where people have tainted products and things. That's when drugs become an issue. When yeah, people are drugging other people. Well, yeah, whenever you lace if you're it, you're doing with, it to yourself. Who gives a shit? Yeah, whenever you're lacing that shit with like uh, with like PCP and not telling yeah. anybody about it, or uh, you're throwing in formaldehyde and it makes them pass out. Well, making it illegal makes it more likely for that to happen because well, it's yeah. not regulated. Well, dude, seventy percent of the drug cartel's money comes from comes from weed and it becoming more and more legal here in the states is a threat to the drug cartels they don't want it to be legal mm -hmm. they want it to stay illegal because that's how they make all their money right i mean the the closest thing to it is cocaine and cocaine is still like not even like a quarter uh or actually no it's actually about 15 percent of what the cartels have now you think about that they go from making a hundred percent of full income down to 15 percent how powerful the drug cartel is going to be it would hurt them very bad. But it just goes into, like, basic stuff, too, like the way family members treat their other family members because of the government brainwashing or, like, you know, the possibility for things to be um, beneficial to people's mental health or their physical health, but it doesn't get through the FDA bullshit. Nope, so never does. You're not allowed to have it. Exactly. Um, so, 
I think that there's a, just a huge problem with the the drug propaganda and anti-drug stuff. It is. Yeah. It, it's a massive mm. problem, and nobody wants to talk about it because yep. everyone's so convinced of. Uh, okay, actually, I will take that back. There's actually hope in certain cases because my dad, who was a staunch Reaganite and also a and also a big time uh, opponent of the legalization of of weed in any fashion, form, or anything. I showed him this one video of a kid, Jaden David, the kid who had the seizures and everything. Mm -hmm. I showed my dad the video that was made about him from the movie uh, from the movie Culture High. At the end of that video where it showed Jaden and his dad like running through the park and playing and his dad saying people take people take it for granted that their kid can walk up can run up to him and say I love you and give you a hug and play sports and all that. And me, I wasn't able to have this until I had medical cannabis. And then when I had medical cannabis, now my son went from taking 22 pills a day to only taking two pills a day. And I know him, and he's more human, and he's actually starting to speak to me, and he's actually able to, to, to comprehend things and take baths on his own and all that. And he's getting really close to actually speaking fully. And he came really close to saying, I love you one day. And it, and it just about, if I can get him to say that, I've conquered the world. I don't care what happens. My dad was crying. My dad was done. And my dad officially switched his stance. He now fully 100% supports it medically. I still haven't overturned him on uh, on recreational, but I talked to him, but I told him about the amount of people who die a year from from drinking alcohol, just from alcohol poisoning, and the amount of people who have died from from weed. Exactly. Just people just have a hard time changing their opinions on anything. They do because yeah. once their mind, like it took me forever to change my opinions on certain things because my, my opinions mind was are shit a lot of times. I mean, I've crafted them over the years, and I'm 30 now, but like I still have shit opinions. I'm sure, but over the years, I've had to crush my thought processes that were wrong and just appreciate other people's views to learn and make myself a better person. Yeah, same you here. can have shit opinions. Yeah. That's fine. But when you have shit opinions and you don't try to find any information about them or back them up with any kind of reality and you won't let go of your opinions, then that's just you being a stubborn dumbass. The main problem with uh, <clears throat> having shit opinions is when you have shit opinions that affect other people, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Like, when you have shit opinions like, oh, weed should be fucking illegal. Like, you need to go fuck Why? yourself. Why? Yeah. That's my question to everyone who says that. Why? Why? And they can never and they can never come up with a case. It's like, well, it's a gateway drug. Actually, no, they show it's that, fucking no, not. No, and, and I'd say that, and I'm like, no. Actually, they show that that uh, alcohol is more of a gateway drug than cannabis will ever be. Well, should ice cream be illegal? Well, yeah. Because I can show well, you a million different facts as to why it's way more harmful than most drugs. Which is why I don't eat ice cream as much anymore. I mean, I love ice cream. I'm not really talking shit about it. No, I'm no, no, no. I, I don't eat ice cream when is it? When is it the majority of people trying to lord over your little bitty decisions in your life that aren't affecting them? If what I'm doing is not affecting you, then fuck off. Dude, exactly. Like, something people is... complain all the fucking time about like potholes and shit that don't get filled like around here. Dude, like the taxes on weed are gonna fill those oh. potholes Dude, that you're so fit, they pissed will off about. Complete highway construction like that. Yeah. Because like, they will actually be able to pay. It's the going workers. to benefit the people that are against it, like, and not affect them in any way. Well, here's here's my everything argument. is gonna benefit. Here, here's them. my argument for the whole thing. If the government themselves want to make cannabis cigarettes, guess what? That's pure profit for the government. But they also need to make it to where privateers can do it as well, especially in this country. I mean, but if you but if the government makes cheaper cannabis cigarettes, then people should have the right to buy them, but at the same time if they want higher quality stuff, then they go to and they go to a licensed uh, a licensed seller. The biggest problem that that the government has with cannabis is that they can't tax it, which is why. Well, and the other biggest problem is that pharmaceutical companies have paid them off to keep it illegal as well. Well, yeah, facts. That is true. That is true. Well, you got to think way back when uh, it was the cotton industry that originally got cannabis made illegal because hemp was too easy to use for paper, yeah, rope, clothing, and and I hate the term marijuana. Whenever someone says marijuana, I die a little bit inside because that's a made up word that the federal government put on it to make it sound Mexican. Because who was a no really no yeah I'm just 
laughing because reality is funny as shit. Yeah. Prohibition is bullshit. It is. And censorship <laughs> is bullshit. Exactly. I mean... Thank you, John Tron, for being the man. Thank you. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this. This was John Tron's uh, video about PSAs, the wide, wide world of PSAs. And if you, uh, if you are wanting to see more of John Tron, there's a link to the original video in the description where you can go check out John's channel. The guy has over 5 million subs. He's absolutely hilarious. I mean... Every video we watch of his, we always wind up laughing. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he is. He's a very, very funny guy. And if you want to see more from us, there's a little subscribe button right down there below Chad and uh, Chad and uh, Nick's feet. If you want to check that out. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to ring the bell if you want Got to stay Got a link notified. to our Discord. Yeah, link to Discord. A link to our Patreon if you want to uh, check out all the stuff we got on there. Plus, uh, an announcement will be coming here soon of a future project that mm -hmm. will be on, uh, that will be, you'll be able to help support on there. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for now. And until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. I'm Chad. We will see you all in the next one. A peace out.